This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a front load washing machine that has an F20 error. And that has to do with some problem with the water supply coming into the washing machine. And many things can cause this. One of the simple things to check though is the water inlet valve filters. Here's a couple, picture of a couple of them here. Sometimes they get full of junk and it's good to clean them. Here's a little diagram that shows the hot side on the left, cold side on the right. And this is a Frigidaire front-loading washing machine. But all of these front-loading washing machines have this common problem that occasionally the inlet filters will get dirty. So first thing, we're going to make sure we unplugged it or turn off the breaker so there's no power going to the unit for safety's sake. And we're going to turn off the water supply here at the faucet on the cold and the hot side. And then we're going to remove the hose right here at the faucet so we can do a pressure test. This pressure test is not vital, but if you have a pressure gauge, it's kind of fun to see what the pounds of pressure per square inch are on water pressure. If the water pressure is too low, then the washing machine won't fill. If the water pressure is too high, it can also damage the inlet valve so anywhere between about 40 to 70 should be fine. In this case, we were at 68 PSI, which is a little bit on the high side, but not enough to damage the washing machine. So if you have a pressure gauge, this is a good time to double check that the water pressure is not the issue. Um, this F20 can also be caused by a fill line, one of these rubber or metal lines that is crimped it's kind of unusual, but that's something to check where it limits how much water can get in. So we shut the water back off after testing it. And I'm just going to remove this gauge and we'll hook up the uh, supply line again. Another thing that can cause the F20 error is if the lines are mixed up, if the cold is going to the hot and the hot is going to the cold. So you want to make sure you check that. Usually on the machine, it'll, it'll say cold or hot, or sometimes it'll be either um, a blue for cold and a red for hot. Now I've got the line off and I turned the faucet on. I'm just checking to make sure there's a lot of water pressure coming out and that there's no clog in the water line. So now I know the water lines are good. I know I have adequate pressure. And now what I'll do is I'll check the inlet screen to see if that might be a problem. So I'm going to grab the filter of the screen with a pair of pliers. You can use needle nose pliers. I'm going to wiggle it off and pull toward me. Get the filter out. And this one's on the uh, cold side. When I was looking at it, what I noticed is that there was a lot of like waxy globular junk blocking probably 20% of the surface of the filter. I don't know what that stuff was. Something that came in from the water supply. And what I did is I used a toothbrush and some soap, liquid soap, and some hot water and just scrubbed it really good. Got it super clean. And I did the same thing on the hot side. So I think in this case, on this machine, the F20 was caused by just this filter on the cold side being really dirty. So to get it back in, you put it in a position, you have to push pretty hard to get that filter to go back in. Easy to come out, kind of hard to put them back in. And then we want to make sure that we have the correct line going to the correct side. So the cold line going to the cold inlet valve and the hot side going to the hot inlet valve. Because if it's backwards, which is a common error, we get incorrect F20. Also, be careful when you're putting these hoses back on because they're, they're metal going onto plastic. Just take your time. should be very easy for the first part of the uh, line, the hose, as you spin it on. It should go on really easily. If it's going on diff in a difficult way, you might have it cross-threaded, so it's good to retry it. At the very end, though, it's good to use channel locks or pliers to get it a little tighter. Just be careful because, again, this is metal going onto plastic. So I'm just going to get it just snug. You can always test it 
later and if there's a little bit of a leak you can go slightly tighter. Better to be a little loose in the beginning than overly tight and strip the threads. So now we're just spinning on the other side. I like to hold onto the water line uh, to brace it as I spin on the coupling. There are other things that can cause the F20 uh, components inside the washing machine that are actually pretty easy to replace. But the most common one, I think, is just something externally that's blocking how much water is coming in. So now we're turning the water pressure all the way back up on the cold and the hot, checking for leaks. We didn't see any leaks at all. The a component that fails inside sometimes is called a flow meter, and they're actually pretty easy to replace too. So we've got everything on, and then we're going to take it for a test. We have it fill up, and this machine did great, no more F20, and that was the cause. So I hope this helps you, and hope you get a chance to subscribe to our channel when you can. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.